Hey guys, welcome back to Navainu. Today we are talking about difference between MHC class 1 molecule and MHC class 2 molecule. MHC molecule that is major histocompatibility complexes as we know are very very important in our body to provoke the cell mediated immunity. Now this we have discussed in the first video uh, immune system you can see the link on the screen if you want you can just go back and you know have a look. So MHC molecules are very very important to provoke the cell mediated immunity that is the cytotoxic T cells and T helper cells and why is that we know this also that T cell itself cannot recognize the antigen alone okay it's kind of blind towards the antigen alone it has to be presented the antigen or I might say peptide along with the MHC molecule right so T cells recognizes only MHC plus the antigenic peptide combination so in order to provoke the cell mediated immunity MHC molecules play a very important role in our body all right now this MHC molecules are called uh, HLA in our body that also we know so it is called uh, human leukocyte antigen right so now let's see the major differences between MHC class 1 and MHC class 2 all right so the first difference is where exactly these molecules are present now MHC class 1 is present in all nucleated cells okay all nucleated cells of our body has MHC class 1 now when I say all the nucleated cell uh, which cell would be not having MHC class 1 is there any cell that you can think of that will not have MHC class 1 if your answer is RBC you are correct RBC does not have nucleus right so MHC class 1 is absent in RBC whereas the MHC class 2 is present only on antigen presenting cell again we have spoken about antigen presenting cell we have discussed about it in the same video that I said before so antigen presenting cells briefly if I want to say these are the cells which present the antigens to T cell for further immune response example includes macrophages dendritic cells B cells these are the cells they act as antigen presenting cell that means they are going to present the antigenic peptide to T cell now when I say these cells have MHC class 2 would they be having MHC class 1 or not of course they will be having MHC class 1 this is one point where I have seen students getting confused these antigen presenting cells are nucleated right isn't it so they definitely have MHC class 1 in addition to that they also have MHC class 2 okay okay we are clear with that point so class 1 nucleated cell class 2 APC now the next point is uh, the difference between their function MHC class 1 presents the antigen only to cytotoxic T cells alright and MHC class 2 presents antigen only to T helper cells now let's understand this suppose there is a cell that has taken up the antigen and it has broken it down in small peptides and it will have MHC class 1 to present this peptide and this is TC cell now this TC cell would have a specific molecule which is CD8 this CD8 actually you know recognizes this MHC class 1 and antigen and binds to it right there has to be something on TC cell that actually recognizes this complex and that is CD8 on TC cell so this MHC class 1 always will present the uh, antigen only to TC cell because it has CD8 receptor that recognizes MHC class 1 and antigen complex. In case of MHC class 2, suppose uh, this is my cell containing MHC class 2, any antigen presenting cell we are talking about that is going to present the antigen to T helper cell now this T helper cell it also should contain some uh, cell surface uh, receptor or molecule that recognizes this MHC class 2 an antigen complex right that cell surface molecule over here is CD4 
तो एम एच सी क्लास टू वुड ओनली प्रेजेंट द एंटीजन टू टी हेल्पर सेल बिकॉज दैट कैन बाइंड विद दी सी डी फोर मॉलिक्यूल प्रेजेंट ऑन टी हेल्पर सेल ओके हाउ वेन आई से एम एच सी इज बाइंडिंग विद सी डी फोर और सी डी एट इट मीन्स एम एच सी प्लस द एंटीजेनिक पेप्टाइड Now at this point, generally I used to get confused that MHC one binds to TC or T helper, and you know TC has CD eight or CD four. That that used to be a little confusing for me. And in the video that I mentioned before, I have given the trick as on how you can remember this particular thing. I'll just explain here once again. If you have seen that, just skip a little bit. This is how you can remember it. Look at MHC class two first. I'll tell you how to remember MHC class two. If you know MHC class two, you know the remaining is MHC class one combination. MHC class two has two lines, T helper cell H has two line, and CD four has two line. So MHC class two binds to CD four, which is present on T helper cell. So MHC class two always presents antigen to T helper cell. The remaining is MHC class one binds to CD eight, which is present on T C cell. Now these MHC molecules are encoded by set of genes okay now the genes that codes mhc class 1 and class 2 differs right genes that code for mhc class 1 is a b and c okay it's because they were first to be discovered so it is a b and c whereas for mhc class 2 it is gene d now all these genes that code for mhc class 1 and class 2 they are present on chromosome number 6 in case of hlad again there are three regions that would be present that is dp dq and dr it would be something like this on chromosome number 6 all the genes that code for mhc class 1 and class 2 is present class 1 is hlaa hlab and hlac whereas in case of class 2 it is hladp hladq and hladr So the next difference is the structural difference. Now both the MHC class one and class two would have cytoplasmic region, transmembrane region, and extracellular region. Both MHC class one and class two also would have two polypeptide chains, that is uh, alpha chain and beta chain. But what's the difference? As you can see, in case of uh, MHC class one, it has three subunits of alpha, alpha one. Alpha two and alpha three. Now, as you can see, this alpha two and alpha one is the place which is the peptide binding cleft. This is where it is going to present the antigen or the peptide. And in case of MHC class two, uh, again two polypeptide chain, but the alpha chain has two subunit. That is alpha one and alpha two, and beta chain also has two subunit, beta one and beta two. In case of class one, it was alpha two and alpha one which was making the peptide binding cleft, right? In case of MHC class two, it is the alpha one beta one that makes the peptide binding cleft. This is where antigen is going to be presented. Now, as you can see, the peptide cleft of MHC class one is little smaller. There is one more difference. So, the MHC class one can hold peptide of Eight to ten amino acid long. Okay, this is how big peptide it can hold. Whereas the MHC class two can hold peptide of thirteen to eighteen amino acid long. Okay, so it can give a little bigger fragment, or it can present a little bigger fragment compared to MHC class one. Now the next difference is also very interesting. MHC class one uh, is important in order to clear the endogenous antigen from our body, whereas the MHC class two is uh, involved in clearance of exogenous antigen. Let's understand this. As we just saw before, that MHC class one presents antigen to T C cell or cytotoxic T cell. that means it shows cytotoxicity to the cell it means example is tumor cells or cells that are infected by intracellular pathogen you cannot retrieve these cells back t c cells are going to lyse or kill these cells by showing the cytotoxicity now because mhc class 1 as we just saw can present the antigenic peptide Only to T C cell because it recognizes the C D eight molecule. 
obviously it is going to uh, you know work against the endogenous antigen again endogenous antigen would be something which is infecting or which is intracellular pathogen which is multiplying inside the cell or it also includes the tumor cell okay so mhc class 1 is important for clearance of endogenous antigen and now we know the reason why versus that uh, MHC class 2 is involved for exogenous antigen of course because MHC class 2 is going to present the antigen to T helper cells now T helper cells is not going to show any cytotoxic ability okay but it can call for help as the name suggests T helper cells it can call B cells or TC cells or further so many other T helper cells at the site of infection so it is going to fight against the exogenous antigen so MHC class 2 because it recognizes the CD4 molecule it presents the antigen to T helper cells and they are effective against the exogenous antigen again we know the reason why so that's all these are the major differences between MHC class 1 and class 2 and I hope this video was helpful do subscribe to the channel for new video every week and I will see you next time until then keep learning